joining us for this interview. No Obviously, we've not had the greatest start um, no, to this season. Um, we know it's a transitional period at the moment with the club. Yeah. Um, how are you finding, obviously, the players at the moment and the morale within the team and how are you looking to move forward, um, obviously, into well, the next games that are now Yeah, we're, we're under no illusion that you know, when we was asked to come in and, and you know, help the transition because of you know, the, the, the circumstances that happened with Danny Lai um, yeah. and the upheaval of the players that left, you know, it, it left a massive hole and a void. Um, you know, bearing in mind, we do the under-21 team, but the under-21 team is made up of only 18-year-olds. None of them are older than 18. So you're going to ask 18 year old to come in, 12, 14 of your squad in the first team. You know, you're asking a lot of them. So it's been, for them, you know, with, with Lamb's the sort of what you know, is one of my you know, favourite phrases because you've got them all together, you've chucked them in different positions just to fill the team. You know, if you look at, we had more senior players against Seaborn and we got a result. We still had eight or nine 18 year olds, but that's fine makes a massive difference because the youngsters, as good as they are technically, they're not knowledgeable enough in football on, on where to be and where not to be on and off the ball and they get caught out. So you're playing against senior players that have been doing it, seen it, done it for a while. You know, it, it don't take them long before they can feed out a youngster and you know, get them on the back foot. And that's happened a lot to be honest and it's, 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 it's hard to take it as a manager because you know them boys you know, are decent, they are good but they are being thrown in at right at the bad area and you know all we could ask from was until we could get the transition period moving, get some players in, get players we want in, the style of play we want, you know, because you know, we want to change the whole dynamic of, of Ashford Football Club. You know, you know, although we're a non-league club, we want to train, play, all the players have the attitude of being a pro and want to, want to do better than you know, just a non-league standard football club. So we want to bring in things like player tech, which we have brought in. Brought in you know, obviously Barry Fuller, you know, professional player, also a very good friend of mine, always been a part of my coaching in the last two years. And it's about getting the mentality changed, not just for the senior players and the younger players, but also get the players that come in buy into the same ethos. You don't want any bad, bad eggs, no egos. So you want to get the type of player we know, you need in the spine, we, we, we looked for a, we're looking for a striker, you know, not like a, a younger version of a Sean Welford, you know, but that was going to be, you know, put himself out, give the likes of Matt Day, T, you know, something to run off of, something to play off of. And when we play the ball on the ground, we've got the options to diversify. We can move about. We can change from a, you know, a, a three-five-two. We can go to a four-three-three. You know, you, you've got options. We had no options. Come, you know, the, the hardest one was the six-nil defeat. You know, and that really hurt because on game twenty-four hours before game day, we lose three senior players. Avo. Bots and Mickey Phillips. Suddenly you've got no midfield. And then you've got youngsters playing out of position. You've got other players still away on holiday, other senior players. And again, you, you, you're hoping you can get something, but deep down, you're hoping that you're not going to, you know, the boys are going to get humiliated. And they just got, they got out schooled. Out, you know, they gave it all in the second half. We changed it, we moved JD into the middle to try and give us a bit more strength and, you know, and try and compete. Because that's what you want. If we can compete, the fans can see we compete, and while you change it, they'll see that we're trying to do the good things. And then you'll, you know, over the next two, three weeks, you'll see some players that are coming in. You know, we're hoping to bring a centre back in and a striker in. When we bring them into what we've already got with the four signings we've made today, then you know, you ain't gonna be far away, you know, from slowly getting the results we want. And that's the thing is game by game. Yeah, um, obviously you just mentioned player tech, yep. um, that's something that obviously um, we know that you've brought into the club, yeah. can you explain a little bit to the fans that will be watching this video, yeah. um, a bit about player tech and what it is, okay. and what it involves? So player tech is a professional GPS um, system that all pro clubs use, you know, and it monitors the players, and when I say monitor the players, they, they, they all have a vest on, it's, it's all unique to them, and it, and it's on a, a web based interface, an iOS system, so you know, iPhones basically. And if you haven't got an iPhone, you can then go log on to a PC and you get a username and password for each individual um, player. And then what that what it does is heat sensor, it does your, your, your strides, your power, your running, uh, how many kilometers you're running in the game, heat signature on, on the actual pitch. It actually GPS loads home and stadium into um, our, 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 our website. So our own interface of Ashford United Football Club where we see all our players and then 
From that, all the information then is collected, the data is collected, goes into there. We then can look at you know, what we expect from a player. So if we're looking at a, a right back, say, and we're looking, that player should be running, on average, 10k a game. You know, maybe between 10 and 12. And they're only running 6 and 7. You know from the heat signature where, where they're doing it, where they're not doing it. And you can then pull the player in and say, listen, okay, we now need you to up your game. So if it's, if it's your fitness, your... Um, the, the, your, your power is, is in when you're your sprint. So how, how how often can you sprint? Do you do you and, and it does it every five five minute increments. So you've got ninety minutes. Then you can break down half time. You can break the warm up bump. And you literally break it all down. And then when you get down to you'll see the levels from the first half. You see the levels in the second half, and you start to see the percents drop. So if they are maybe not fit, come seventy minutes you see the levels were eighty ninety percent and now sixty. You know that player can't play ninety minutes. He hasn't got, he can't contain them levels. So it's about, we then pull the player and say, look, here you are. It shows you if you're a winger. So we look, we're, we're doing, uh, all one of my favourite ones is, you know, I've, I've grown up with Clark Woodcock, do you know what I mean? I think he's a fantastic talent. But sometimes Clark has a tendency to cut inside. You know, on a winger, you want to go on the outside, get the ball in. Sometimes he, he cuts inside and he, he, he loves the outside of, you know, a flick of a boot, he drives it a weldy pass. It drives me insane. So we will say, I say, uh, I say Clark, he's a gaffer. No, 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 I've only done it once, I've done it once. Well, this GPS system shows you every angle you take. So when you're running strides that way, or you're cutting in, it will show you. And then you go, come and have a look. And then you can show and say, look, you don't lie. You can't hide anywhere on the football pitch. And when you see players that are not given 100% for their other teammates, you can pull them in. And then you know, you know where they're at. And then you've got the squad members. So the squad member says to me, Gaffer, I'm a right back. Um, we just, Morgan's playing as a right back. Why am I getting a look in? So I go, oh, we look at your stats. So you've got the game by game. And you go, right, okay, so Morgan's hitting 85% on, on, on his, on his, on his uh, endurance, on his K, uh, KMs per game. Yeah. He's hitting 10K, you're in six. If you really want to be, you know, you want competition, hit 10K. And then and they, they've got their own app and they can look at it. So it shows them everything. So it gives them their own, you know, personal view of where they're actually at with their body because every player, don't care who they are, senior, young will say, I'm fit Gaffer, I'm fit, I'm fit. You go, okay, let me tell you this, I've, I've watched these teams for you know a few years now and I personally believe the fitness levels to where they want to be are not there. We, we, for me, we're a set, what I call a 70 minute team and City Bond proved it. We were lucky to get a result against City Bond because for 70 minutes we were a better team. The last 20 is where you win or lose games, we won because the players around weren't strong enough, weren't fit enough, and they started to flag and die, injuries started to come in. Um, yeah, so it's about reinventing the player. Yeah, I mean, I went, well, I've been to all the games so far this season, and yeah. I've watched the team play. Um, something I will say is, yep. um, for me, Mickey Phillips, is the, when he plays, I notice that the team is a lot more settled. Cool. Um, it, it, it's a it's big, big influence on the team. Mickey Phillips is, is a massive influence on the pitch and off the pitch. So Mickey is a character, not just a character, he's also a leader and wants to teach not the, the, the young ones as, as, as well as bringing in senior players to, to play alongside them. Mickey's always about a high standard. Yeah. So he's calm on a ball. You can't teach that. He's, he's naturally got that. So he finds the extra two, three seconds on the ball, which is in, in a football game, it's massive. So he can calm the game down. He can then p make the passes. You know, and, and then... You know, dictate the games, help dictate the games, help try and get T, Matt Day involved and, and get them more up the pitch rather than further dropping back and then you know we then we then become a team that's isolated. It's it's always been key when Mickey wasn't there on Saturday that we was gonna have a we was gonna be trouble. It's with Mickey and no bots. Suddenly you've only got Davo and Lavi. Now Davo is a great ball player. Yeah. You need someone next to him to win the ball for him. Because you can't go and do it all. So you can't influence the game. Win the ball when the influence again. You need someone to win the ball for him. Yeah. When you've only got Lavi, we only had two in the middle because we were literally restricted on players. Our formation was weak. You know, we had you know, Brand on the left, Clark on the right. They're not the strongest. I mean, Brand will give you an engine to die for, and he will give you a run, run, run. Yeah. But you didn't have that presence. Yeah, I know it's uh, the Red Hill FA Cup game. Um, mm. You had Mickey Phillips there. And that was, you know, well, yeah, what, what yeah, kept yeah, teams here in the middle. Yeah. He was there. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously Botterill in the Herne Bay game yeah, yeah. Um, played very well. Yeah. well. So obviously don't want to dwell too much on the past because <laughs> we know we've had some sort of dire results to Shocking put it briefly. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, 
Can I've got no sleep without. I know, well, a lot of us haven't slept <laughs> over it. Um, <laughs> just moving forward, yep. obviously, I've seen some new signings here tonight. Yep. Very impressed with the right back from Furrock. Yep, um, I've already said to the guys, very impressed with this guy, Morgan. Yep. Can you tell us that much about Morgan? Um, I know, obviously, it hasn't been announced officially with the no. club. But by the time this video goes yep. live, it will be official. So, can you tell us a bit about Morgan? So, 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 yeah, so Morgan's obviously uh, on the fringes of, of, of Furrox, um, which is a Bostic Prem team. Bostic Premier, yeah. Bostic Premier. Um, and, you know, I'm, I am an Essex boy, I'm a Furrox lad, so I mean, yeah. uh, and you know, Brandon is my nephew, so there's, there's no secret, I'm not, we're not hiding that. And, you know, when we want to look and try and find players. And just so, obviously, people that don't know, Brandon Williams. Williams. Has been a Reading under nineteen. Is Reading that under right? nineteen, yes. Under 19. No, no, Reading under 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 six under sixteen. Under sixteen. Schoolboy, schoolboy yeah, at yeah. Reading, and then and then got released before being given a scholarship. He then come to me with um, Ashford. Yeah. So you know we we have a philosophy obviously with Barry try to get to play football and it would keep making do the right things. You know the the whole idea for me in football is get the players to progress. Yeah. We, you know. As a club, even now, we should look to be progressing players, and then players. Then when they go, you know, it, it should be it should be great. It should be, you know, saying we should be proud of that yeah. we've got a player that's done really well. You know, someone like Matt Day, I mean, who could be, you know, and, and when we, when they go, they, they bring some money into the club. Yeah. But it shows that we're doing the right thing. We're trying to get the right players in, and then it also brings other players here. Yeah. Because they want to know they're going to be coached properly. They know they want to know they're going to get an opportunity to get further up in 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 the career of football for them. Um, but back to Morgan, obviously yeah. from Furrock, he's the guy that impressed me the most out on the pitch tonight. Yeah. Um, can you tell us, obviously, a little bit about him? What's his surname? Sorry, I haven't got that. Um, do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, we'll call him Morgan not, for now. Not, not all bad, if I'm really um, honest. But obviously, you, see, that, you see how many players Yeah, right? I know there was loads of players yeah. out on the pitch yeah. tonight, and I can vouch for that, because I know some people are a little bit sceptical at home, um, but there was a lot of new faces here tonight. We saw, um, we saw the, 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 the tall six foot three. Uh, centre back stroke CDM, which is uh, Caleb. Caleb, and yeah. where's he from? He's come from Herne Bay. From Herne Bay. Yeah, okay. he's, he's in Herne Bay's team. He's so impressed with a lot of the Herne Bay players yeah, when we played yeah. against them. Yeah, yeah. So, he, he, so Caleb's came over. Um, uh, he got released. He's and Morgan's from Thurrock. So is he a fringe player there, or has he been in their regular Mor start? Mor Morgan's up? been in in there. They only played a couple of games really themselves, but so he was in the pre-season. Yeah, and playing preseason games for for um, Thurrock. Yeah, but he's on the fringes. Yeah, 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 so he's on the fringes. He's bear in mind, he looks a lot older than he actually is. He's only yeah. eighteen. Yeah, well, he's we were a, quite shocked when we were told that because he does look in his mid twenties. He's, 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 he's a big beast. lad. He's big, a beast. Big, big lad. Yeah. He's quick, powerful. Because that's something tenacious. we've kind of lacked on the pitch a little bit is we've noticed energy. That, well, energy and physical of course, presence obviously of course. on the pitch. So yeah. that's something positive. Yeah. It, we, 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 listen, it, it's, we don't need a rocket science to tell us what we're missing on the pitch. You know, you're, if, again, if you're playing 14, 18 year olds, yeah. you know you've got no physicality. So the chances are you're going to get bullied in the game. So we knew before even today come that you know, we had to get past the, the next 10 days in order to then look at the players that, that were staying, the ones we want to keep. You know, oh, you know Richard Avery's left today, and we want to bring in centre backs. You know. Uh, that they're going to be fit because and, and, and be able to do a season, a commit to a season. You know, and, and when I mean commit, I mean you know we tr we train. If we don't play on a Tuesday, we train. I don't yeah. care if it's spinning or we, or we or we do ball work on Thursday. We go out there and then we do shape work like like today, a bit of fitness, and then on Saturday we have another game. It's about for me a team spirit. We, you know the, the, the team's got to be a team. That means everything we do, we do it together, and whoever's in that must buy into that. Otherwise, you're just going to lose. People can come and go when they want. Egos are. I'm so and so. I've got you know. This is what. Well, that, that's gone. We don't know that. Okay. And we've also been told there's a player that's joining us from Seven Oaks. Can you tell us any more about that player? Yes. So, I'm really, really happy to welcome Joe Bingham to uh, our team, um, and that will be announced today. Um, so Joe is, you know, a very strong midfield player. Technically excellent on the ball. And he's going to bring a, you know, a, a, another senior quality yeah. to the team, which is, you know, me and Barry are creating a spine. So let's 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 not mess about. We know that our twenty ones or eighteen, as they keep saying, 
are not good enough as uh, are not ready. Not good enough. Mm-hmm. That's not the right word. They're not ready. And not you know, some are some ain't. But some do part of a game. Some can come. They can flit in and out with some, with a spine of a senior team. So we we are creating that spine. And with that spine, when you got when you got Potts fit and you got Davo fit, you got Mickey Phillips fit. Then suddenly you've got you know now Joe in, in in the mix. That's four strong senior players. Yeah. You then got that, and we got Matt Day T up top. You're missing one other link. You know, a nuisance of a striker who's big, but about 23, 24. Wants to run for England. Do you know what I mean? Leads from the front. We we want to play a formation where we attack. Yeah. And, and if we need to take that formation into a, a, a you know we do four three three, and we're being overrun, we, need, we want to come back. We're going. We're taking it to four five one. So one of the players that, that we can do that with. So it's about power, pace, and some youth. Okay. Them, them three things. Um, have you got any other signings that you can tell us about now? So, you, um, so we've got we've got Morgan, Caleb, and Max. Max Waters comes from Barking. Right. And Max, I'm telling you, is one you really want to look at. He's, he's an English what position. Well, he, at the moment he's playing out on the right. He's absolutely lightning, but not just lightning. The way he runs at the ball, honestly, he, he's a player. And that, what division are Barking in? Do you know? Is it North? Well, North. Bostic North. Okay. And say, say so for he's playing for England schoolboys as well. School boys. Yeah. Only up to last year. And and he he is someone I'm extremely happy to have because I just you know, as a manager you you, you know you can see players. I mean Morgan is is fantastically strong physically at the right position you want as a right back. You know, quick. So recovery is great, and he can tuck around and help out. You know, uh, Kingers, whoever. Do you know what I mean uh, JD? Yeah. We are looking, at, we are talking to a, a centre back now. That I can't, you know, say just too much yet. But you know, if we bring this centre back in, which is looking good, you know, we're, we're adding another quality centre back with some youth and pace and that with it. Can you say if that is a Bostic Prem or Bostic South? I'd, I'd, rather, not. Rather, not I'd, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. So yeah, so Max will play out on the right. Okay. So yeah, and, and you know, in a four-three-three, you play on the right hand side of that, and he, he's, he'll push for a start on Saturday. Okay, um, just before we wrap the interview yep. up, moving forward to the game on Saturday, yep. um, have you got a message for the fans, or can you tell us obviously what the game plan is? Well, the, the, the message for the fans is, you know, we 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 are especially me, I mean, really appreciate that they're, they're sat by the young lads because it's it's very easy to not stick by them because you know football is a results game and it can be fickle. We all know football can be fickle, yeah. and it's about if they show desire and determination. That for me is is what we were given, and what the fans will see from me, Barry, and the team that we produce, they will give you everything, and then the quality that we introduce with the player tech and the, and the the new kind of training we're going to bring in, with, with you know the fitness with the ball only with balls to make them move around, you know, it, the, the results will come, because you put the quality there, you put you put the foundations in, you build any business, build any team, it doesn't matter. You put the right foundations in. You give them the right tools to do the job. They yeah. will do the job, and the fans will. You know, over the next few weeks, start to see, especially with a couple more signings. You know, I think you'll see a different Saturday. I do. I'm, 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 a, I'm a little bit gutted because George isn't going to be there now. So we are. Um, uh, you know, his family reasons for himself that yeah, he, he's no, not no. going to be there. So, and we wish him well, and he'll be back as for next week. So. so but that is a little bit of a loss. But Aaron has done fantastic. And George, obviously, he's a massive presence on the pitch. Massive. Um, is he going to be committing to us for the rest of yes. the season? Yes. And he will definitely be here to the season. A hundred percent. We okay. we we have every player that's here now wants to be here. They've, and every senior player wants to be here, and not just want to be here. They're excited. They're excited that they love the new what we're bringing. In, yeah. The, 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 the new player tech. They love. You know, even with the resistant bands, they. Just, you know, we had a lot of injuries, which you know, I, it would probably been the biggest thing for me to take is senior players injured on what I call real bad discipline on 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 warming up. So we're not being because we're we're not we're not seen as it as it should happen. So it's just you know we just turn up, but we don't get to do that anymore. You have to turn up. We have to we have to do the warm ups properly. So we put resistant bands, same as a Premier League club. So what we said is, listen, if it's good enough for Barry Fuller, who's a captain of Wimbledon. It's got to be good enough for Ashford United Football Club. If we can take what he's doing and bring it here, then the only thing that's going to benefit is Ashford United Football Club. And the fans then will benefit because they're going to see you know, a professional outfit. And then on that pitch, you're going to see everyone giving everything for that shirt. Because they don't, they're not, they're, not, they're not part of our team. So 
but everyone who will play on that pitch for us will work hard, will work to keep that shirt and you're going to see the discipline within, within the players, each other, they're going to encourage, they're not going to you know, be against each other and they're, they're the key elements that we want to make sure we install in our team, that it's yeah. about togetherness, we become a team and then the fans will become with us and the fans have something to share about and I expect the numbers to go up. Fantastic. All right, Jason, I know you're a busy man. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Cool. All right, thank Cheers, you. Mate. Thank you. Lovely. All right. Cheers, Jason. Thank you very, very much, much, mate.